Okay. Yesterday we have started organization structure. That means enterprise structure. So, out of which, like you know, we have created a first important element called company. This is group of companies. So this is an optional element. But your company code is important, like uh, Drowan Foods company code. This is what we have created. This is in Germany. Like you know, this is basically as I said that. For calculating your finance-related operations, balance sheet and profit and loss account, taxes and taxes and other related FI settings. So we have created sales organization. Why? Because we are going to sell our products through our sales organization. In this, we have created two sales organizations. One is uh, domestic, and another one is export. Now, as for yesterday's, I mean, like a previous example. Whether you would like to sell through domestic or export, it doesn't matter. So, sales organization is the legal entity. So, when you are selling the products like your biscuits and uh, uh, whatever the whatever the products you have, like chocolates and all, so this uh, FMCG products, if you would like to sell it, so you have to identify your customers. When you identify your customers, all customers are not the same. Okay, so then. You have to identify your channel. The channel is called distribution channel. Channel is nothing but the channel through which you are selling the products. Okay, so when you are creating the sales organ sales order, okay, so you are giving two seven two seven as your sales organ. That means so you come to know you are selling your products through this company. Suppose if you get any domestic order from Germany, okay, your customer is from Germany. So Rocky is one customer is there. He is from Germany. So SAP code is DE. Okay. Yesterday I have we have seen like this country. From this country he got an order of certain products to buy. So who is this customer? You have to identify. You have a n number of customers are there. Like you know retailers and wholesalers and distributors. Assume that he is your distributor. Okay. Apart from that you have. King, one more customer is there. He is retailer. Okay, so we have one more customer is there. Okay, Siam. He is Sam is wholesaler. Like that, you know, across the world, n number of customers are there. But this customer has one price. This customer has one price. This customer has one price. Otherwise, everyone is having the same price. But but uh, campaign is running for wholesalers. When when you are giving product to wholesalers, you are giving ten percent extra discount. Okay, so we are going to see all those scenarios in another few days. But first, you have to identify. Next important element is when you come to know who is your customer, how you are going to send your stock to the customer. So then you need to identify the channel. Okay, this is basically sales arc. This is one entity, okay, legal entity. So then uh, you got an order. Then you have to sell to product. Let me try to create a distribution channel called. Okay, this is for distributor. Distributor channel. I am creating one more channel called. What is that? Wholesale. If any wholesaler, if any wholesaler is there. Then obviously he need to create an order with the help of this channel. So the next one is like you know thirty I am taking. So this is for retail. In the similar way for your global level you are going to do uh, global sales. You are doing through only internet sales. Like you know everyone can order through web actually. Okay. So that I am creating IS or WB. Okay. This is my e sales. So that means e sales. I am just creating a scenario. So this company called basically okay. One second. Let me try to match this. Okay. So 
so this is cc code company code okay company code basically under this you have two sales organization 2727 this is domestic okay so and the next one is and next one is what 2728 this is for basically for your exports okay so you have a customer at a domestic level like they can able to order directly with this uh, sales organization okay so let me try to put here for better understanding let me try to expand this so this is sales org okay this is another sales org okay now you see like uh, what is that there we are having the customers like distributors distributor code is 27 this is basically one distribution channel 28 is wholesale distribution channel 30 is retail distribution channel what is that this is distribution channel that means how you are doing your sales operations okay okay the channel through how you are sending the goods so like this is fine you identified your customer through channel how how you are going to send the stock in the similar way to like you know what you are sending like you are sending the products right so previous example you'll try to recollect it okay so you are sending these products these products called like you know so these products is belongs to one division okay this is foods division assume that in the similar way dhruvan has one more company they are having oil division like you know financial service division okay this is how you have to you know evaporate your mind and you have to understand the business assume that he is having a foods division so what is this i am going to create uh, there is something called dd common division i am creating so that means all products i can sell through this division okay now what you got it division okay so now you got your sales organization distribution channel division is nothing but classification of your products so like uh, you will send you will sell biscuits through dhruvan and chocolates assume that these two belongs to one division okay in the similar way you are going to sell ice creams because for this storage unit is different right it won't last more time these will last months and days or something like that okay in the similar way suppose you are sell, selling noodles also like you know this is one division like you know in within the food only you will have separate divisions but here all foods i am selling through my common division like you know he can order 10 packs of biscuits 5 packs of noodles and and uh, 10 liters of ice cream or something like that so like you have identified your division so now when any sale sales operation you supposed to perform you required a identified sales organization from company when you got a purchase order you need to identify your customer whether distributor or wholesaler or direct customer or any other person for that matter here i have divided for your business understanding normal generally what happens so companies they will create only one distribution channel it depends on their need sometimes they will create some 20 distribution channels it depends on the customer need okay divisions in the similar way if you go for medical industry as i said that you will have a different departments then you will have different divisions based on the operations of the uh, your uh, clinic or clinic or hospital or uh, biggest uh, medical organization so in the similar way you can able to create common division it depends on the customer need how we are going to customize it 
okay now you got it product is ready you can able to sell it so you identified your customer channel and you identified the division from where we are going to sell the product okay so now we are going to create distribution channel now okay so as i said that here i am using these three channels whereas export i am using whoever the customer irrespective of the customer if he, if it is out of germany then i would like to sell my products through only one channel call that is internet sales or web sales okay then i will have only one distribution channel like uh, i will tell you best example for this suppose amazon you are buying products so your products might be coming from different divisions maybe amazon own warehouse or else the uh, different sellers buying through amazon but divisions might be different but whoever the customer it might be you it might be me it might be your father it might be wholesaler it might be retailer it doesn't matter they will have only one channel okay so that is one of the best example flipkart and internet sales okay let's try to check these things on sap system distribution channel creation and division creation so then we are going to link this for creating the sales order in coming days so let me try to create a distribution channel now let's go to spro reference img implementation guide go to your enterprise structure go to the definition in that you go to the sales and distribution you make a note down this path also we have created yesterday sales organization in this path now we are going to create a distribution channel okay let's create distribution channel so in this let's try to check 27 it's available so let's it's for distributors distributors okay 28 28 is for wholesalers okay 30 for retailers okay so i thought someone has all created so i will try to replace it as a 29 wholesalers okay so in the similar way i am going to create es i s i will create it i s internet sales okay for an example for understanding so see now see this is not fa settings automatically it is asking based on the previous thing so if you see anything is available for sales nothing is available right let me create it for say uh, sales actually what is that sales settings let me put it even if you save in the same tier also no problem just for understanding i'm showing but if you work in real time everything will be separated and created because fi guys will create their own tier you will try to save in you, your own tier okay tier means transport request so we are created this one now let me try to check one more thing that is called division okay here two more elements are there sales office and sales group i will explain you this one so let's go to the uh, logistics general okay so in this define copy delete check division you come here you can create a division you can see someone created divisions like biscuits motorcycles paints lights foods like that you know people are created different different divisions i am creating common division let's put it 27 okay common division whatever the foods we will sell all belongs to this division only as per sales okay so i saved this one let's go back 
we have created a division now now come to the sales sales and distribution let me try to create sales office so sales office and sales group what is this sales office and sales group it's very simple like uh, reliance has head office in mumbai okay so and they are somewhere so they are having uh, regional sales offices for doing their sales sales like you know in the if you go for hel product they are selling purit right water purifiers okay they are having regional offices based on the towns like if the company has a requirement depends on the requirement you will try to use this sales office as per their requirements but here you have a doubt like sir we have a sales organization why we have sales office so sales office is that office set up there sales people are sitting and going if something happens sales office is not responsible sales office i can open 100 locations but legally i will register my sales organization at one place whereas you will have an uh, private limited public limited like you know registration to if something happens either you can uh, go you can raise a complaint against uh, your uh, buyer suppose if he is not paying for your invoice amount or else he can also do the same way like you know if you are not selling good products or uh, sorry uh, not selling good products or else you know you are misbehaving uh, with uh, as a sales organization or else on time delivery if you not have done uh, like uh, you know different different things different scenarios like will comes into picture so that we are going to see later that is something called complaint management that is different so like you know sales organization is legally responsible so in projects sales organization is mandatory but sales office and sales group is not mandatory certain projects you will have sales organization sales group and sales office certain projects you will have only sales organization certain projects you will have sales organization and sales group only but not sales office certain projects only you will have only sales organization like that okay so that's why this two elements will call it as optional elements optional means office if i wanted to set up i will set up suppose if i am doing internet sales i don't require any office right and sales team i don't require okay so let me try to show you how to create this sales office also let's go to see someone has created this sales offices right so 2727 so i am creating as a sample german sales office 2828 is for global sales office so any order if you are coming not from germany or europe i am going to use this sales team if required okay so like uh, i'll just german domestic sales office okay so well, like i'm just giving the country you try to fill it later remaining mandatory fields i'm just saving this one in the similar way i'm just creating global sales office okay this is located in france france let's see in france what is the place let's try to choose any one of it i'll put it this one okay let's press enter now we have created two sales office and this is optional element it's not mandatory but i will show you you if you want how many you want you can create n number of sales offices for one sales organization okay so sales group like uh, see some examples they have given right see our practitioners also created someone created for bangalore okay someone has created his name only okay sales group okay now you can see different sales groups like in you know, a with name or else it can it can be like a naming convention it depends okay let's try to create one sales group so 
nine. Okay. So sales uh, food sales force. I am creating just for an example. Okay, if someone has already created, I'll just creating triple nine. If this is also created, so then two seven s. Okay, so I am creating this one. Like sometimes you can create it like this: managers, executives, directors, like that. You know, some examples you can try to, you can try on your own. If you if you are not able to understand the examples, you can see this list. So that you know, you'll get some idea how to create it. Okay, this is all about sales group. So we have done sales organization and sales offices is ready, and distribution channel channels are ready, like you know, for my customers. So next, what we are going to do? We'll try to create few other elements before that. uh let me show you how to assign how to link this org elements okay let's go back to the excel for understanding this okay so 2727 company code okay i will assign to 2727 sales organization so that this company code for the sales organization will take care of accounts profit and loss and balance sheet so in the similar way i am taking the same company code okay that is also will take care of global sales also global sales operations also the same company code will take care okay so how it will take care you have to give some connection right so then only it will understand okay so then uh, this is the company code Sisi code. I am assigning to all these sales org. Okay, so then your sales org two seven two seven is responsible for distribution channel like two eight. Sorry, two seven. Okay, distributors two eight wholesalers two nine is wholesale. Okay. uh retail sorry and you have is internet sales also so but 28 28 2728 sorry 2728 is responsible for only internet sales okay now you got it right this is how we have to link it so once you link it so what you are going to sell for the all these customers for these channels so then you are going to link your division okay what is our division we have created i think 27 only we created this is common division like uh, in example some other code we have given uh, where is this our example dd i have given right i just put it it as a 27 i will replace it so then what do you got it let me try to Two seven two seven. Okay, this is two seven two eight. Two seven two eight. Okay. Now let's try to check. This is for your domestic sales organization, distribution channel, and division. all three put together is responsible for your total sales right that's why these three elements all put together it is called sales area okay you try to remember this sales organization distribution channel division the combination of these three org elements will be called as sales area okay so let's this is internet sales and a division is same 27 this for this another sales organization okay so let's try to go back to the sap system now we'll try to link all these things so now come here so what is this we have seen 
definition in definition few other elements also there but let's try to understand this carefully so financial accounting okay so then go to the you better go here sales organization okay so assign sales organization to company code so what is your sales organization okay our sales organization you can find it right 2727 is the sales organization so for this company code is 2727 it is assigned if it is not available so it will be says like it is mandatory okay 2727 i am assigning the same same company code let's save this if if your assignment is not there you can assign it so let's come to the distribution channel what is our sales organization 2727 okay domestic so what is my distribution channel 27 27 is distributor okay again i am selling with the same domestic sales organization for my wholesalers so i would like to sell for my sales organization through what i would say retailers in the similar way i am going to sell it internet sales also domestic also some people will do internet sales right i is so whereas 2728 for global i am doing only internet sales people are not coming from other countries they need not come if they give orders i will send through ship or airplane or something like that okay so i'll just done this assignment now let's try to do so you come to know your distribution channel and your sales organization now let's try to check what products i am selling for these customers that is called division okay my sales organization is responsible for which division common division in that all products will be there if you would like to create it separate divisions you can create it it's all welcome okay so 2728 exports also the same division okay so we got a division now let's try to my division my sales organization come to know what are all the products i am selling so what is my product line what is my classification of the products now let's try to create the sales area okay so what is my sales area 27 27 by using this sales organization i am selling to distributors this is my distribution channel so from where i am selling from my division all products okay in the similar way i am just copying this okay i am i am just trying to copy this one and one more i'll try to do wholesale this is for my retail this is for my internet sales this is for what i would say internet sales again okay so but this is for my global for exports so let me save this so again i am saving the same tr so this is how we have to define i will show you one thing it's too early to understand but uh, if i go to the sales order there is one document type is called order you live about that so if i give 2727 is my domestic sales order so i am selling for uh, assume that retailer okay so what i am selling my product selling this is the division this is how we have to present it see some errors will come don't worry about all these things but whenever you create a sales order you, you should know like 
what is my organization like uh, whether you are selling petrol whether you are selling biscuits whether you are selling we on which domain you are selling finance you should know what is my distribution channel you should know what is my classification of the products okay now let's go there and try to assign the sales office also for our sales organization so you see definition you have to do it defining org elements and assignments you have to do it here so let's come here so let's try to so you now assign division to sales organization set up sales area now assign sales office to sales area what is your sales area again you have to take all those things so my sales organization what is my distribution channel and what is my division through which so what is my sales office see german sales office i got it so i will just uh, try to copy this okay so in this what i can change this is wholesale this is that means we by using this office we are doing all these operations like 29 so this is is okay this is the common office so in the similar way <clears throat> copy here just try to do the global sales through the same office this is how you have to create it sales office assignment so we got a sales office we got a sales organization so now we are saying sales group to sales office what is sales office 2727 is our sales office sales group is something i have created i forgot in one second which one i have created i think 27s i have created see 27s put sales force i have created okay now it is my memory is good okay so then uh, so this is how you have to do the assignments so tomorrow class we will see few more org elements and how to assign it and after that i will show you how to Uh, we are getting into the further further concepts like uh, how to create customers how to create material master okay and after that i would like i would like to show you how to create a sample sales order this is it for today we'll try to get into the class tomorrow